Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to the Friday edition of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. This morning we're looking at Psalm 94 and verse 19, reading from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this glorious day that you've given us. Lord, we're so grateful for all the ways that you provide abundantly for us. And so, Father, as we reflect on your word, as we come into your holy presence this day, may we do so with joy and thanksgiving. Lord, would you speak a word of encouragement and hope into our lives for this day. In Jesus' mighty and precious name we pray. Amen. So Psalm 94, verse 19. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. As I said, we this week we've been looking at verses from God's Word that, that talk about how God meets us in the midst of anxiety, stress, trouble, doubts, fears. And He meets us and He helps us. And so the verses we've looked at are, are verses that, that demonstrate that assurance of hope that we have. That when we are facing difficulties, when we are facing challenges in our lives, we have a God who is not distant and far off and unsearchable, unknowable, unreachable. Rather, we have a God who is ready and eager and willing to help us with whatever it is we are facing. And so the psalmist says, When doubts filled my mind, how often do we find ourselves with doubts filling our minds? Questions. Are we doing the right thing? Are we saying the right thing? Certainly during this season of the pandemic, that has been the case for many people. Question. You know, is the government... Does the government have our best interests in mind? Are all of these restrictions and limitations and mask mandates and vaccines, are they all necessary? And I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but certainly there are a lot of people out there who believe that this is some kind of conspiracy by the governments of the world to control us. I personally don't hold to that belief. I'm grateful for all of the things that the governments have done to help us navigate this pandemic that we've been dealing with. But regardless of all that the governments have done, none of it compares to the help that we receive from Almighty God when we place our faith in Him. Because He is sovereign. He is Almighty God, and He is in control. He knows our needs, and He is the one who is able to, to quiet the doubts that rise within us and give us the assurance of hope. He is the one who is able to say to the storm, Peace, be still. And the storm obeys Him. He is the one who is able to calm the storms in our lives if we will trust in him. The sad reality, friends, is more often than not, we take matters into our own hands. And quite often make a mess of things and God has to then help us clean up the mess. When doubts rise in your heart and your mind, take it to the Lord in prayer. I know I quote this, this great old hymn often, but it is so true. It's one of the, the reasons why those old hymns still speak to us today, because the, the truth that they hold is so strong and so powerful. Oh, what peace we often forfeit when we do not take to the Lord in prayer. 
our troubles to the Lord in prayer, our doubts to the Lord in prayer, our fears to the Lord in prayer, our anxieties to the Lord in prayer, our cares and our concerns to the Lord in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit when we do not first and foremost turn to the Lord in prayer. When we feel those doubts rising in us, turn to the Lord in prayer. And he is the one who gives us peace which passes all understanding and who will help us. When doubts filled my mind, you comfort your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Other translations say, when anxieties filled my heart, your consolation gave me joy. It's that sense that when we are struggling with whatever it is we're facing, whether it's, it's health issues or financial issues or job issues or, or relationship issues, it doesn't matter what the issue is. When we are facing those times in our lives, and, and everyone does, at some point in their lives, everyone does. When you're facing those times, turn to the Lord who is able to comfort you and give you renewed hope and joy, hope and cheer. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Friends, the Lord has promised that he will do this for you and for me. When we surrender ourselves to him and when we are obedient to his will being done. Now notice in this verse, it doesn't say that God fixed all his problems. What it says is, he received comfort and a renewed hope and cheer. God offers us spiritual health, spiritual nurturing, which leads to peace and joy and gives us hope and strengthens our faith. But we have to turn to him. And it's better, far better, to turn to him when those doubts and those anxieties and those fears first appear, rather than waiting and putting it off and thinking you can deal with it yourself and, and letting it um, boil and fester and, and get to the point where it's overwhelming. As soon as they start to rise up in you. Go to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord. Say, Lord, I don't know how to deal with this, but I know you do. Help me with this. I lay it at your feet, Lord. Help me with this. And the good news, friends, the great news of our relationship with Jesus is that he will do it. He will help us with whatever we bring to him. And when he does, give him all the glory and the praise. Worship him and, and show your adoration and praise toward him. Do a happy dance. <laughs> To demonstrate the joy that is in your heart because the Lord met you in the midst of the situation and he helped you. And know the peace which passes all understanding. I could go on and on and on about times in my life when I have done just this. And the peace that that I've received 
when I've taken these things to the Lord in prayer rather than trying to fix them myself, which I will tell you from personal experience, just increases the anxiety and increases the doubts and increases the fears and makes it worse. But when I took, to the, took things to the Lord in prayer, as soon as they arose, the peace that flooded over me was unspeakable, indescribable. And a precious gift from God. So friends, I encourage you this day. If you're facing some, some difficulty, some challenge, some trial, some if you have doubts rising up in you or anxiety in you, take it to the Lord in prayer. And know his peace in your heart. Because he will pour out his peace upon you and flood your soul with overwhelming peace. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you that you do not abandon us or, and or forsake us, but Lord, you are an ever-present help in times of trouble. But you're also an ever-present joy in times of peace as we walk humbly with you. And so, God, we, we pray that you will continue to place your hand of favor upon us. Lord, that you will minister to us in our brokenness, in our failings. Lord, that you will comfort us and renew our hope and our joy. That you will strengthen us for our journey that we may walk humbly with you. Oh God, we need you. And we love you. And we surrender ourselves to you, Lord. We pray, oh God, that, you're, that you will lead us in the direction that we should go. That you would help us and grant us wisdom from above to help us navigate this day We needn't worry about yesterday because it's past and we needn't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow's will be troubles will be sufficient for tomorrow. But Lord, we pray that you will meet us this day and help us as we seek to walk humbly with you each and every day. And we ask this in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. We look forward to seeing you next week, Tuesday, as we begin a new week of unpacking verses from God's Word and reflecting on them. And as we are at the end of another week, I just want to encourage you to uh, gather in your local church to worship the Lord God Almighty on the Sabbath day on Sunday. And if you are not able to gather in person or you are still not comfortable because of the pandemic, I invite you to join us on this YouTube channel at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning as we gather together for worship here in this God's house of praise, this God's house of prayer. We are open and uh, and welcoming uh, um God's people to come and worship in person and uh, so you are welcome to join us or as I say at 10 a.m. on our on this YouTube channel we will be live streaming our service and friends I just want to also encourage you to to remember to pray for your local church and continue to support your local church with your tithes and offerings they are important both your prayers and your tithes to help continue the ongoing work that Christ is doing in the community. And so um, just want to encourage you with that. Most of all, friends, have a blessed weekend. Be kind, stay safe, love generously, just as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has loved us. And so, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. And all God's people said together, Amen. Amen. Look forward to seeing you next week, friends. Bye for now.